Hello, 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 Tommy and Paula. Slow rush. First time ever reacting to Tommy and Paula on this channel. I honestly have not been familiar to Tommy and Paula's music before last year. Tommy and Paula, I the first song I've heard is probably uh, their most popular song, which is uh, "The Less I Know, The Better." Oh, that is a really awesome song. Other than that, though, I've I've heard some tracks from, from the album Lonerism, uh, and some other tracks from that same album, uh, that single dropped from 2015. I think it was called Currents. I'm hoping we'll get a good album uh, from songs I've heard. The singles, it's a promising uh, album. This might be a really good album. So let's give it a shot. The Slow Rush, Tommy Impala, first reaction. Let's go. It's another day. I couldn't record this the day I filmed the intro, but I'm back. Track one, one more year. Very intriguing intro. We should be getting a good track. Uh, bongo bongos are really cool in the background in the mix and Karen Parker's performance is good so far really nice compelling track really enjoyed this song amazing performance and really great way to open this album I'm hoping like now there's a feeling that we're getting something special honestly I really loved what we're happening on the mix it's just it sounded so crisp and nice and uh, melodic uh, and uh, i love the electronic vibe they went for it is, it is so tommy impala but again as i'm saying like i'm not really familiar with many songs of tommy impala so um it's nice for me it still sounds fresh and something new to me uh their style because it's not explored by me yet that much. Anyway, track two, Instant Destiny. this one as well the lyrics i really love them it's about love pretty much it was really romantic actually and he was like hey you know what like forever is a mighty long time so let's not hype hype it up for ourselves let's not claim that like that we will be there forever for each other but uh of course i still want to uh and uh, but like let's buy a house in Miami first <laughs> let's settle like let's get married and then sort of uh, you know let's see how it goes from there really nice and romantic uh, yeah, I yeah I enjoyed it and uh, aesthetically the melo like the music is just so pleasing it's really amazing Kevin Parker is doing his job so far track a borderline I've heard this before Such a strong song, such a lovely song. This song is amazing. <laughs> and like, the, and Tommy Impala 343 so far, it's really, really good. Um, it's like, if if it's if it will keep going like this and there will be no weak songs, uh, we might be getting like a, one of the strongest albums of the year. I'm feeling like nine out of 10 so far right now on this mel on this song. It's really, it's really good. Track four. Another single, Posthumous Forgiveness.
this production, da, 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 that organ, it's like uh, from uh, Adam's family. <laughs> I actually didn't know there is a switch. I haven't heard this single um, that much. <laughs> a little bit long. Ooh. Ooh, damn. That beginning on the breathe deeper. Um, so the posthumous forgiveness, just a little bit long in my opinion, just a little bit. It's six minutes long. Uh, could have been a little bit short, uh, but other than that, still uh, sounds amazing, still good. Track five, breathe deeper. Oh, another six minute track actually. But let's see if I will enjoy it more. Damn, bro. <laughs> this is a jam, bro. Is this uh, inspired by Daft Punk's music? I mean, of course I'm here for it. <laughs> Enjoyed every second of it. Fantastic song, fantastic. Oh my god, it's so amusing. This album is so amazing, bro. Sonically, fantastic. And lyrically, lyrically is just, man, it's so blissful and enjoyable to hear uh, what Ken Parker is saying, he's talking about. It's so nice, it's like having a Good time having a like, nice life, pretty much. Track six, Tomorrow's Dust. <laughs> Kevin Parker is surprising us, y'all. That guitar mm, is everything, it's everything. Track 7, on track. Really good track, uh, on track, track 7. Lyrically, I, I really enjoyed it as well. Well, he, there was a line, I'm just paraphrasing. Basically, he said, like, I, uh, there has been another year, pretty much passed, but nothing happened really that much. And it's kind of refreshing, like, uh, in, the, in the world of social media, like, when we post highlights of our, ourselves, like, highlights from our life, we, we look at other people's lives and uh, we subconsciously compare it. And then we don't think of a life as something that is usually... It's simply average, you know, usually it's, you don't really do anything that um, highlight worthy, it's just still you have your own routines, right? And it's okay, but in our age, we sort of, we tend to forget that with all Instagram and stuff like that, we, we look at other people and like, we try to like, oh damn, I'm missing out, maybe I should do something more. He, like, on this album, Tammy and Paolo, he's showing that, just, just enjoy your life, bro, and... Um, don't let anybody else sort of dictate you how to live or sort of influence your decisions. Just relax, enjoy, have fun, drink some cocktail on the beach or something like that. Slowly, there there, there will be a pro uh, progress, but it, it takes time and it's slow. It's like <laughs> the album's name, Slow Rush. You are trying to rush somewhere. You're working on something that you like want to get it done. But uh, it still will take time, so it's slow, you know? 
And again, if everything is a highlight, nothing is a highlight. So it's good that actually we have sort of sometimes even boring lives, kind of average. Um, and then something wow happens, and then ah, oh, and then you tend you tend to cherish those moments and like, yeah, like and that's why it's their favorite moments, uh, like memories. You know, we have positive memories because of moments like this that stands out. I think we should just be grateful for our lives rather than feeling like we are missing out or something or feeling like we can do better or something. Chillax. <laughs> oh, and last thing he also said that I think he was referring to like his failures and like happened or something really ha bad happened, like a major setback, he said. And, but then like still he said, like tell everybody that I'm fine, I'll be on track. You know, yes, uh, there was a failure, but like I can get back on track again because life is long, he said. We're gonna evolve through time and make it work in the end of the day. Uh, track eight, Lost in Yesterday. I've heard this one, it's a single, really good song as well. I really enjoy it. Fantastic tracks. Track 9, is it true? Fantastic beat already. Uh, track 8, Lost in Yesterday, might be like one of my favorite tracks of the year so far, actually. It's really fantastic. Is it true, track 9? Or this might be the one. <laughs> There's this amazing transition to something. What is happening? Guys, I think this is the strongest release of the, of the year so far. I mean, we already heard many albums uh, by Eminem, Halsey, Mac Miller, who else was there? Um, well, from this month, uh, Kenny Beats and um, Denzel Curry, Unlocked, which is an amazing project. I didn't re make a reaction to it, but it's a fantastic uh, project. It's like 9 out of 10 for me. But this one, bro, like this, <laughs> this one is like even better. <laughs> like this, it's it's getting to a ten for me right now, bro. It's I, guys, like I smell musical excellence from far away. Okay, when it's a musical excellence, I know it. Okay, so like I just want to say that this is it, bro. This is. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this <laughs> like honestly <laughs> when it comes to music but it's so so good it's so bright it's so mesmerizing it's so fantastically executed the vocals fantastic uh sonical experience amazing like i don't i don't know what else you need bro like you can music is at its finest when you can dance to it and you can dance to it you can have great time with it, and also, actually, not only great time, but also reflective time. Like, you can think about life, like, sit back and think about life as well, you know? It, there's so many things to offer with this album. It's just, I'm loving it, bro. Um, track 10, we have It Might Be Time. <laughs> Um, I didn't enjoy this track as much as other tracks, to be honest with you. But not a bad track, though. We'll, we'll see what uh, um, last two tracks will uh, give us. Track 11, Glimmer. Yeah, really. Okay. 
felt like an interlude on this one. Um, we are transitioning to track 12. One more hour, last song. <laughs> Okay, one more hour. It, it's a um, track where I understand where he was going for lyrically and it makes sense to end the album that way. However, uh, it's just sonically when it comes to like, just straight, I wanna listen to music, what can I listen to? I'm not gonna be pulling up exactly this song. Oh yes, I wanna listen to this for seven minutes. Uh, it's not that kind of song, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not, um, that eventful and i just don't want to like sit through it and you know we listen to it for that uh, much time i would rather listen to the whole album and just end it on track 11 <laughs> i guess although track 11 is the tra type of track where i enjoy it sonically but um lyrically it doesn't it, like nothing happens there uh, so it's like a different <laughs> track 12 lyrically is, is all right track 11 sonically it's good uh, but not lyrically if it was cut to 10 tracks you know first 10 i feel like i would have given uh, 10 out of 10 but uh, because of the last two um that didn't really resonate with me that much i'm gonna give uh this album uh, 9.5 out of 10 but all in all this was a fantastic album the best album we got so far this year i have enjoyed so much i had a great time listening to it and it made me like the album cover for example it made me want to go and the, and the melodies the songs uh made me want to go to beach today and thank god i actually can't afford that i mean like i like in in my city we have a beach so uh, maybe i'm gonna go there tonight <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's really good um, the atmosphere this melody is created it really made me sort of dream of listening to these songs in that sphere you know what i'm saying in that setting that's pretty much it on my thoughts to this album thank you so much for listening with me. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, support me on Patreon if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.